17 Signs That Make Your Liver Damage Liver failure is when the liver can't do its important jobs anymore. There are two types of liver failure, acute and chronic. Acute happens quickly, often because of a virus, medicine, or a problem with the immune system. Chronic happens slowly from various causes. When the liver is hurt, people usually get signs that something is wrong. This video talks about 17 signs that show the liver might be failing. Like spider angioma, stomach bloating, bad smell fart, dark urine color. Now a question arises, what is signs of liver damage? The liver handles over 500 functions within the body. Its functions can be broken down into four main categories. They are digestion, cleaning the blood, immune support, and blood clotting. The signs of liver damage will start when the liver cannot carry out one of its jobs. These signs will vary from person to person. We have tried to explain this sign to you in two parts. First, we will tell you three initial signs of liver damage. Later, we will tell you 14 common signs. Let's start with the first initial sign, weight gain. Fatty liver disease often begins with the accumulation of excess fat in liver cells, leading to a condition known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. As fat builds up, the liver's normal functioning becomes compromised. The liver plays a central role in metabolizing and processing fats, and when it's overwhelmed, it starts storing the excess fat. This fat accumulation not only impairs the liver's ability to function, but also contributes to insulin resistance and inflammation. Insulin resistance makes it challenging for the body to regulate blood sugar levels and can further exacerbate weight gain. Additionally, the inflamed liver can release inflammatory chemicals into the bloodstream, affecting metabolism and contributing to systemic inflammation. This interconnected web of factors can result in unexplained weight gain a significant early warning sign of fatty liver disease. If you've noticed an increase in your weight without changes in diet or exercise, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for a thorough assessment. Our second initial sign is fatigue. Fatigue in individuals with fatty liver disease is often linked to metabolic changes and inflammation in the liver. As the liver becomes infiltrated with excess fat, its ability to efficiently process nutrients is compromised. This can lead to a decrease in the production of glucose, which is essential for providing energy to the body. Moreover, inflammation in the liver triggers the release of cytokines, signaling molecules that can induce feelings of tiredness and lethargy. Consequently, those with fatty liver may experience persistent fatigue, making it vital to recognize and address this symptom promptly. Third and last initial sign is abdominal pain. This discomfort typically arises due to the enlargement of the liver, which can exert pressure on the surrounding organs and the liver capsule. As the liver expands with fat accumulation, it stretches the capsule, causing a dull or throbbing pain in the upper right side of the abdomen. This pain may intensify after meals as the liver is actively engaged in processing the nutrients from the food. It's crucial to understand that this pain may not always be acute but can persist as a chronic discomfort. Now we have seen the three initial signs of liver damage. Now in this video we will tell you 14 signs of liver damage. Let's start. Our fourth sign is jaundice. Jaundice occurs when there is an accumulation of bilirubin a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells in the bloodstream. In the context of fatty liver disease, advanced stages can lead to liver inflammation and damage, compromising the organ's ability to process bilirubin effectively. As a result, bilirubin builds up in the body, leading to the characteristic yellowing of the skin and eyes seen in jaundice. Recognizing jaundice as a symptom of fatty liver disease is crucial, as it signals a more severe progression of the condition, necessitating immediate medical attention. Moving on to our fifth sign, dark urine. Dark-colored urine can be an indicator of liver dysfunction, specifically related to impaired bile flow. Bile, a digestive fluid produced by the liver, gives urine its characteristic yellow color. In cases of fatty liver disease, the liver's compromised ability to produce and transport bile efficiently can result in darker urine. 
This change in urine color can range from amber to brownish, signaling a potential disruption in the normal liver processes. The sixth sign of fatty liver disease is swelling in the legs and abdomen, a condition known as edema. As the liver becomes compromised, it struggles to regulate the balance of fluids in the body, leading to fluid retention. This accumulation of fluid can manifest as swelling in the legs and abdomen. The impaired liver function hinders the synthesis of proteins responsible for maintaining fluid balance, contributing to this common yet critical symptom. Now, let's discuss the seventh sign, bruising easily. Fatty liver disease can impact blood clotting factors due to disruptions in the liver's production of essential proteins. As the liver's function declines, so does its ability to synthesize clotting factors, resulting in a higher likelihood of easy bruising and prolonged bleeding from minor injuries. Understanding this connection highlights the importance of monitoring changes in your body's ability to clot blood and seeking medical advice if you notice increased bruising. Our eighth sign is mental confusion. Fatty liver disease, particularly in advanced stages, can lead to hepatic encephalopathy a condition characterized by impaired brain function due to the accumulation of toxins. The liver, compromised by excess fat, struggles to filter out toxins, allowing them to reach the brain. This can manifest as confusion, difficulty concentrating, and impaired cognitive function. The ninth sign of fatty liver disease is the presence of spider angiomas, small blood vessels near the skin's surface that resemble a spider web. These angiomas result from elevated estrogen levels, a common occurrence in liver diseases. The liver, overwhelmed by fat accumulation, struggles to metabolize hormones effectively, leading to increased estrogen levels. Spider angiomas can serve as visible indicators of liver dysfunction and may appear on the skin as a cluster of small blood vessels. The tenth sign of fatty liver disease involves elevated liver enzymes, which can be identified through blood tests. As the liver undergoes inflammation and damage, the release of enzymes into the bloodstream increases. Elevated levels of enzymes such as alanine aminotransferase and aspartate aminotransferase serve as crucial indicators of liver dysfunction. Monitoring these enzyme levels is essential for assessing the severity of fatty liver disease and guiding appropriate intervention strategies. The eleventh sign, pale or clay-colored stools, may result from disruptions in the bile flow from the liver to the intestines. Bile is essential for the digestion and absorption of fats. When the liver is compromised, the reduced production and excretion of bile can lead to lighter-colored stools. Observing changes in stool color is essential, as it can offer valuable insights into the liver's function and aid in the early detection of potential issues. Fatty liver disease has been associated with high blood pressure, making it our twelfth sign. The exact mechanisms linking the two conditions are complex, but it is believed that insulin resistance, inflammation, and endothelial dysfunction play pivotal roles. High blood pressure is a serious concern as it can exacerbate liver damage and increase the risk of cardiovascular complications. Regular blood pressure monitoring and lifestyle modifications are crucial components of managing fatty liver disease. Insulin resistance, our 13th sign, is often interlinked with fatty liver disease. When the body's cells become resistant to the effects of insulin, glucose absorption is impaired leading to increased blood sugar levels. This, in turn, can contribute to the accumulation of fat in the liver. The intricate relationship between insulin resistance and fatty liver disease underscores the importance of managing both conditions through lifestyle changes, including a balanced diet and regular physical activity. Moving on to the 14 sign, an enlarged spleen. An enlarged spleen can be a consequence of advanced fatty liver disease, often associated with portal hypertension. As the liver struggles to function properly, blood flow through the portal vein is impeded, causing an increase in pressure. This heightened pressure can lead to an enlargement of the spleen, which acts as a blood filter. Now we move to 15th sign of fatty liver disease, which involves stomach bloating and foul-smelling gas. 
Although traditionally associated with digestive issues, recent research has unveiled a potential connection between fatty liver disease and gastrointestinal symptoms. Stomach bloating may arise as the liver's compromised function affects the breakdown and absorption of nutrients, leading to an imbalance in the gut microbiota. Foul-smelling gas, on the other hand, could be attributed to changes in gut bacteria influenced by the liver's struggle to process toxins efficiently. These seemingly unrelated symptoms underscore the intricate interplay between liver health and the digestive system. Recognizing stomach bloating and foul-smelling gas as potential signs of fatty liver disease prompts a holistic approach to understanding and managing this condition. The 16th sign increased risk of cardiovascular disease associated with fatty liver. Beyond cholesterol levels, fatty liver disease is linked to a higher likelihood of developing heart-related issues, including heart attacks and strokes. The inflammatory nature of the disease and its impact on lipid metabolism contribute to these cardiovascular risks. Finally, our 17th and last sign is the increased risk of liver cancer. Advanced stages of fatty liver disease, particularly non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, significantly elevate the risk of developing liver cancer. Chronic inflammation, hepatocyte damage, and the progression to cirrhosis create an environment conducive to the development of cancerous cells. Regular screenings for liver cancer are essential for individuals with fatty liver disease to facilitate early detection and intervention. And that concludes our exploration of the 17 signs of liver damage. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to HealthQuest for more insightful content on health and wellness. Stay informed. Stay healthy.